and also the uh, public safety 5% to the local level. And Well, that will be in the bill, but public safety at the local level. And that's just the dedication portion. And then it says in the resolution that the percentages and manner and method of allocating the money can be decided by the General Assembly and uh, such bills and resolutions as it may adopt. Are there any questions for the uh, for the sponsor? Do I hear a motion? All right, there's a motion second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? It passes to rules. Now on your iPad you've got the original version of the bill which is SB 350 and the original version was 410698. In committee we've made two uh, amendments to there uh, and we'll go over those in just a second uh, but the version that we're operating off of now is SB 350 LC 410788S. You want to speak to that, Representative Battles? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the, this is that the money collected, which would be the 5% um, of the excise that was is sold or is collected from the, the sale of fireworks. Uh, the money would be collected, and uh, those percentages would be in the amount of 55% will be provided for the Georgia trauma uh, care, uh, and then also for the uh, firefighter standards training and uh, the equipment and training for the local uh, fire departments. And, um, and this is to improve the uh, department's uh, ability to have insurance ratings that would be accepted by the insurance uh, commissioner. So we do have the insurance service officers that were involved in this. Representative Carson. Representative Battles, thank you for bringing this forward. It's my understanding uh, 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 that the current that the excise tax is currently uh, applied and it amounts to about a million dollars a year is that right Paul this is true and the currently secondly as a follow-up as chairman that's currently going to the general fund correct that's right okay thank you Here, if the constitutional amendment passes, passes then that will dedicate the funds and then the bill that we're talking about would allocate those funds and what we did in subcommittee is that um, on line 22 instead of just allocating the money to the equipping and training of firefighters and improving the rating of fire departments we added the language on 22 exclusively used for the implementation of a grant program as to that 40 percent and the rationale there was we did not want this to supplant what was uh, already being allocated for the firefighters standards and training we wanted it to be extra and in addition and for those purposes and so that's why it was put in there as part of a grant program so that it wouldn't be used for administration or other things that, that they're currently receiving uh, general legislative appropriations for the other change that was made in subcommittee was the original version of, of Senate Bill 350 had 5% going to local governments for public safety. Mm -hmm. And it was not clear whether it was all local governments in the jurisdiction or the local government where the fireworks were specifically sold. And so uh, there was some discussion in the subcommittee and it was ultimately decided that the easiest way to allocate this was to put that 5% at the state level into uh, prepaid 911 and that then that's there's already an allocation formula for that that sends it back to local governments for public safety purposes and 911 systems and so that was rather than the Department of Revenue having to keep up with where things were sold and writing perhaps 500 different checks for small amounts of money it was it made more sense just to uh, write one check have it allocated according to a formula that already exists 
And so that was the change that was made in lines 25, 26, and 27. And uh, that's the bill. Are there any questions? Do I hear a motion? I heard a lot of motions. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Moves on to rules. We are adjourned. <laughs>